Okay, are we live? We are live. We are live. Live, live. <laughs> um, how's everyone doing? At the moment, of course, I have zero people. Hopefully, we'll get some uh, some people. Hello to that one person. I'm here in a coffee shop here in Westcliff, Colorado. And um, hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. How's life? It's okay. I'm having a shamrock, a shamrock mocha. It's got dark chocolate, dark chocolate, and Irish cream. Decaf. <laughs> oh, that was bad. So I'm doing all right. How are you doing, Mike? What's your location? I'm just hanging out in a coffee shop here in Westcliff, Colorado, and um, the counter's over there. And um, it's a very nice. See those mountains that go across that little picture up at the. That's really neat, isn't it? So lots of people here. People just sitting around. So just thought I'd do a live stream for about an hour. Um, yeah, going home. Okay, so you're in Ohio. Hey, Mike. I, 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 I um, I'm not in a position of um, talking a lot because I, I'm still. I mean, I, I told everyone I was going to bike across America, and I didn't. But I was kind of thinking maybe I should just bike across Ohio. I've got a few friends in Ohio. Like, wouldn't that be kind of cool? Just go 200 miles, just do a one week trip and only bike 30 or 40 miles a day, which isn't actually that much, you know? Should I bike across Ohio? I'm just thinking about it. I'm not really, I gotta take a step back, but um, bike across Ohio, it's west to east, of course. I got some friends. I got a friend in Zanesville. I think my friend Brad lives in Zanesville. I got a connection in Dayton. And you, you want to? Yeah. You want to bike it with me? We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I can see. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of 2019. Um, just but but I could yeah but well yeah what if we just took a week in August September I don't know when you know it'd be pretty neat bike across Ohio you know so so we'll, we'll just just put in the back of your mind we'll see you know the other thing too is Mike you know now we're friends. And um, I'll be honest with you. I want to keep our friendship. And if we bike together and bike to cross Ohio, there's, I don't know, um, at least based on past experiences, there's a chance we might not be friends by the end. It's just, it's hard, man. There's a lot of, there's just, but anyway, I just want to say we may not want to bike together because it's, there's more, there's always a chance that we might get on each other's nerves or all sorts of things. So just from past experience. All right. <laughs> but anyway, I was thinking though, I was thinking, well, if I did bike across the state, what would I do? And I can honestly say I got one Ohio. I got enough connections with you, my friend, Brad, he, I think, I think he's in Zanesville. I'm going to find out where he is. And, um, I'm actually going to message him. And I have one connection, one friend in Dayton. And I don't know if I know anyone in Columbus, but I think I do. Either way, I got to go. I got to go through Columbus because it's the capital, right? Is it Columbus? Columbus is the capital, right? So go across on Highway 40. So I'm going to. Yeah, no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Hey, Paul. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I know. There's just issues, and it's just, yeah. <laughs> Mike, though, if, if I actually did do a bike across Ohio, we could hang out. Make no mistake. We could hang out. We could, we could you know, maybe we could ride for a day. Or, I don't know. I don't so, but anyway, it has crossed my mind. So, because I've been kind of humbled by the Bike Across America thing. And I'm just like, I remember I, in my own videos, I gave the advice. Just bike across your state. Just do one state and get the hang of it again. And I think for me, I have to revert back to just back to the basics. Have fun. Just do a one week, whatever, 200 miles. I mean, I could do that in five days. Five days, that's 40 miles a day, which I'm sure I could do, you know. So, yeah, yeah, Mike. I mean, you know. <laughs> but I got to do it. I got to. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. So, hold on. I want to find my friend Brad here. Brad Finardi. I don't know how to say his last name. But I just, he's a, he's a total Ohioan type guy. Brad. What town do you live in in Ohio? I got to know. Also, I am live streaming right now on YouTube. Join us. Okay, that should work. I want my friend Brad to join. Brad's, Brad's, Brad's a character. I shouldn't say he's a character. He, well, he is a character. So... Yes, Kamikaze, I'm back in Westcliff, Colorado. And um, darn stupid YouTube. I'm working on something as I talk to everybody. Anyways, how's everyone doing? I'm drinking. Here, I'm in this coffee shop. And there's the front there. And uh, they got lots of, like, gifts. This place has got a lot of gifts. And um, they, they sell ice cream here, lots of ice cream. So <laughs> how are you doing, Jordan? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got, here's the front. I got the shamrock mocha, shamrock mocha, dark chocolate and peppermint right here. So lots of friendly people here in Westcliff. So... That woman's the owner there. That woman pointing right at her. She's nice. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it's not a shabby shop. It's not too shabby, Paul. <laughs> so, Mike, the bison, there's a bison ranch right on the highway, right off the highway. It's between Westcliff and Walsenburg on Highway 69. So it's, it's kind of right in the middle. So, so Mike, yeah, you got to check out those bison. So here, we're going to make this in Ohio. I got to get my friend Brad in here. Brad, here's the link. I talked about you at, what time are we at? Yeah, I'm going to say I talked about you at 7.00. Brad's a, Brad's a, <laughs> we need to get Brad in here. Anyway, one of these times. Anyway, so, so yeah, yeah, the bison. So I did a little video and it was neat. <laughs> They're pretty much like cows. Wow, really? A bison? Now, like, you can call them a buffalo, but my understanding is bison is, is like the more appropriate name, but, but you can call them buffalo too. So, but um, yeah, I want to see that video. So you, you saw a buffalo in the Badlands. There's something about the Western landscape. Great Plains and the interior west where it feels right to have buffalo roaming and, you know, running around and, you know, if there's danger. They're big animals. And they're kind of like cows. They typically are afraid of people. But if you if you piss them off, 
if you piss them off and they come charging at you, you know, you, you better pray. You, you better just, you know, <laughs> that's right. Tatanka. So, Hey, Josh, Josh Dangler. So I was just bitching and complaining about this stupid daylight savings change. And then my name referral source, they screwed up the schedule. So starting today, it says everything is one hour later. So like I, I've, cl I've counseling clients tonight at five, six and seven. So it said, Oh, your clients are at six, seven and eight. So I was so mad. So I, I wrote my clients and I said, even though the schedule is stupid, I will see you at five, six and seven. It's going to be a little crazy. And I was so mad. Anyway, you don't care about that. Nobody cares. And let's talk about bighorn sheep. I've got a bighorn. I think I've got a bighorn sheep. Not too shabby. Let's see. Here's my shamrock mocha. Mm, that is so good. Big horn sheep. Not too shabby. Let's see here. All right, I don't have an actual bighorn sheep, but I have a stuffed bighorn. Here it is. Ready? It's a stuffed bighorn sheep. <laughs> Not too shabby. That was at the the the, uh, the gift shop on Pike's Peak. So, <laughs> oh, but I was in bighorn sheep here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so how are you guys doing? Let's just talk about something funny. So, I got one more of driving in Bighorn Sheep Canyon. Driving in Bighorn Sheep Canyon. Not too shabby. <laughs> So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good, buddy. I'm good. Doing good? Yeah. So a few minutes ago, we were talking about the possibility of biking across Ohio. And um, how amazing would that be? So... I, I do want to just elaborate a little bit about the issue of uh, when you bike with somebody for multiple days, there's risk for getting on each other's nerves or in all sorts of creative ways. Like if we, you know, if I bike with somebody and it's a multi-day trip, so then what are we going to do? We're going to share a motel room together. I'm, 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 I'm not going to allude to any past specifics, but that can be an issue. Does somebody snore? Does somebody like to have the TV on and the other person doesn't? There's all sorts of little courtesies, you know? So there's just all sorts of little things. You'd be surprised, all the little things. And it's like you're already tired. You've already biked 30, 40, 50 miles, and then you're tired and you're in a motel room. And you got this guy where very quickly – you know, things you can get on each other's nerves. And I'll tell you right now, type of guy. Exactly, a separate room, but then you're spending more money for the room. So that's right. And I kind of need my space now too, the older I get. Or even just something like, okay, so you check into this hotel, a motel, whatever. I'm the kind of guy where I just want to eat alone. If I've been with you all day and I've, we've been biking together and maybe we had a good ride, but we got on each other's nerves a little bit, but we're cool. I just want to walk and just, you know, find a restaurant, whatever. And just, I want to eat alone. And uh, some people don't get those social cues. Like, no, I want to be alone. I don't want to continue hanging out with you, you know, which, which happened. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. It happened once where I was like, 
I just want to wander, you know. <laughs> it was like he just absolutely wanted to have dinner with me. And I was okay, okay. So anyway, my Mike, I have baggage. I've biked across America three times. And now I have one time where I didn't succeed. And there actually even there was a second time that I, I did make an attempt, but I didn't even leave for California. That was a long story. So officially I've attempted five times and I've succeeded three. So all that kind of little space. So make no mistake. I mean I know I'm sounding kind of mean or harsh, whatever, but it would be fun to bike with you for a day. And like, yeah, of course we'd have fun and, you know, making videos and just doing stupid stuff, and, you know, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but the, the most practical thing though, is if one person is way faster than the other, that could be a problem. And, and at least in my experience, I've been the slower guy and there's somebody way ahead waiting for me. And at least most of the time, I want to be the kind of person where if I feel like stopping, I can stop. And if there's somebody ahead of me, I don't want to be feeling like I have to catch up. I have to catch up. Well, you know, and if, if, let's just say I'm behind somebody and then I want to look at something and stop. Then they're going to be texting me saying, are you okay? Where, where are you? Blah, blah, blah. You know? So I've even learned that too, that for the most part, I kind of want to go alone I want to take my time or maybe I'll go fast. But if there's something where I just think, Ooh, I want to stop and do a video, then I can do that. And I'm not worried about anybody else. It's such a mess, man. It's such a mess, Mike. Mike, it's such a freaking mess. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know if I'll ever bike across America again. I don't know, but we'll see. So, so, by the way, Paul, where are you from? Are you in Ohio? I invited my friend Brad, and I want him to show up. Come on, Brad. He hasn't got my message. Darn it. Ohio. You and your Cleveland Browns and Cincinnati Bungles. I was just watching... Uh, First, I was watching about the uh, ten cent, ten cent disco night in um, ten cent disco night in nineteen seventy four. The Cleveland Indians had a crazy, and it was the seventies, and it was so chaotic and crazy with fans being violent and running on the field. So, <laughs> but then that led to uh, my friend Adrian. He sent me the link. I, I you know, I, re I remember Bobblegate, the Cleveland Browns, the game in 2001 where people were throwing those plastic bottles. I think they were plastic, but they were still they could still really harm somebody. And the referees really screwed things up. And people were throwing things on the field and throwing those plastic bottles. So it was kind of crazy. <laughs> Anyway, so that's Ohio. But and it's so funny how LeBron James he left Cleveland. And again, the team just bottoms out. They're in last place. You know, LeBron made the, the Cavaliers very relevant. They got to a championship. They got to two championships, right? And they lost both or they lost one. I forget. I think they lost two. The moment LeBron James leaves and he goes to Miami, Miami goes to four tight uh, final series. They win two. Cleveland bottoms out. They're in last place. So then LeBron James comes back to Cleveland. Boom, just like that. They're you know one of the best teams. They get to the finals, and uh, they won one out of four against Golden State. So, which is still impressive, you know. So, right, LeBron, right. You think uh, LeBron has took the Cleveland Cavs to the finals five times, I believe, right? Five times? So that's that's impressive. Anyway. So. 
I'm doing a live stream here. <laughs> so I know it looks weird that I'm talking, but I just got a few friends here on my little YouTube. So I know it's a little, it just, anyway, I feel self-conscious a little bit. You know, I'm going to start doing a YouTube myself. She's going to show me how to do it. Yeah, yeah. Next week for my ministry. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. Yeah. Everyone, this is my friend Ron. How you doing? <laughs> So I show them the coffee shop and everything. <laughs> so I got a couple of friends from Ohio. I'm just talking. To, we're, well, yeah, they're they're from Ohio, and we're just talking about sports and how bad the Cleveland teams are. And why? What's going on with college basketball? Oh, the different. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, Ohio State is pretty good. So they're usually pretty good at, you know, at least that's football, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I've got an Ohio not too shabby. Let's just see. Here. I thought you were from Louisiana. Oh, you're from Kentucky. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. So Ohio, I should have something related to. Let's see, here. maybe. Oh, I have a video. Three friends in Ohio. Here it is. It's three people from Ohio who are visiting Colorado. Not too shabby. <laughs> that was really neat. They, they were not too shabby fans, and they were traveling around the Western USA. And he messaged me, Johnny, Johnny messaged me. And, you know, I just said, come to Westcliff. Here's my number. And they showed up. I gave my address. And um, so we spent the day or whatever, the afternoon. We had lunch. We made a bunch of not too shabbies. That was pretty neat. So pretty fun. <laughs> So, uh, so, let's see what other not. Ooh, how about I hear some other states. Wyoming. Driving to Wyoming due to boredom. <laughs> not too shabby. <laughs> Driving to Wyoming due to boredom. <laughs> That's when I was living in Greeley. Oh, that was it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh. Here's an interesting one. I want this Arkansas River. This is the Arkansas River. Not too shabby. <laughs> That's an old one. Yeah. <laughs> Really though, Mike, the idea of biking across Ohio, it feels, it just feels like an adventure, but without the seven to eight week commitment, it actually kind of sounds good. And then the money isn't as much. Uh, and I don't know, man, I got to think about it. I got to think about it. And then if it's only a five or six day trip or seven days, I could even do something where I buy a brand new sporty bike and I don't even carry anything with me except a couple of, you know, the very basics, like a pump, a couple of tubes. I don't even bring any extra clothing, you know, or I don't know how, you know, I don't want any heavy. So then I got a light bike and I can just, you know, so it's just an idea. I just want to do something different. I just want to have fun. I just want to have fun. Like, I just, I don't want, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I just want to have fun. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Mike, would your girlfriend be a support vehicle? <laughs> Seriously, see, we, we got to do something. We got to do something like that. We got to do something like that. So, hey, Austin. 
No, I'm not doing any event rides. I'm not telling anybody that I'm doing it. No publicity. I don't because I'm already there's still people in town that are asking me, when do you leave for your bike across America trip? I signed the paper. And I gotta tell them, oh, okay. I already tried it and I quit. So there you go, Mike. You got a good girlfriend, man. You got a good girlfriend. All right, so let's let's just think about it. Let me just think about it. Let me just just take a month and let me just think about it. And let's just see if I can get into shape. Bike around a little bit. It's still not very warm here. Today's a warm day for us, and it's 46. You know, so. Let me find more not too shabbies. Josh, are you sure you're not in a not too shabby? Let me see here. I just did a search for Josh, not too shabby. Not too shabby, Josh. I guess not. It's too bad, man. Come on, Josh. Yeah, no, exactly, Mike. I mean, it just depends, but 20, I just want to, yeah. That's the other thing too, is like, I'm a big believer in, I do not, I don't like making reservations because then I'm limited. I feel like I have to show up there. I have to make it. What if, there's some kind of spontaneous thing and someone's like, Hey, you can stay with me for free. Then I'm like, no, I got this reservation. I'm done with reservations. So, so, you know, I honestly, I only want to go 20, 20 to 30 miles a day. 20, 20 to 30 miles is reasonable. That's still a reasonable ride. You'll get a good workout, but it's not insane. Once you start getting into the 50, 60 miles, I mean, it depends, and I'm, you know, everyone's uh, physical ability is different, but once you've gone 50 or 60, I know by experience, if you're out of shape, it's going to kick your butt. But if you can go, everyone can go 20 miles if it's relatively flat, and, you know, it's a two-hour kind of bike ride. And then, you know what, and then you hang around. If you want to stop, you can stop, and you can tour the area. You can hang out with your girlfriend. You can do something fun. So, the phone started making noise. It's very annoying. <laughs> yeah, no, all that stuff. Not all that stuff. Yeah, tailwinds, headwinds, hills. So, I'm assuming Ohio is pretty flat. At least compared to California or Colorado. You know, I want the trip to be a little more spontaneous and a little more fun. I don't want any negative people, like no negative people, no bullshit, no, you know, no, no stupid people, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> That's the funny thing about <laughs> – now, I have biked across America three times, but, you know, I'll tell somebody, hey, I think I'm going to be on your I'm, – I'm, my route goes through your area. So then they're like, well, what date are you going to be here? What date? I'm like, I don't know, maybe in April, maybe May. I don't know what number, May 2nd, May 23rd. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, west to east. We got to do the west to east. So, but then, you know, where would we finish? And what, Wheeling, West Virginia, or whatever that river is, or Pennsylvania? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I got to look it up. So, but I do have one friend in Dayton. And then we could do this. There's a guy named Steve Magas here. He is a attorney. He's a, 
he's an attorney who specializes in cycling law. So he represents cyclists who are either, you know, usually it's related to a crash of some kind and there's civil or criminal litigation going on. But let me, let me share this. He's, he, he's really knowledgeable and helpful. Here, here's his uh, Ohio bike lawyer. Yeah, I think he's based in Columbia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mike, go check. He's a really nice guy. I'm Facebook friends with him. He, um, and then on his Facebook page, he posts a lot of really information, um, interesting information about your legal rights as a cyclist. Um, all sorts of interesting things. So he's worth following and liking. So, so go check him out. So, and he's a nice guy too. So, pretty cool to know that there's some attorneys that specialize in cycling, cycling law. So, <laughs> so I got a book at home that uh, I read. I forgot who sent it to me, but somebody sent it to me. Maybe it was Steve Magas forget but it's an extensive book about biking and the law and what to do all these situations what to do if you get in a crash with another car um also like road rules common road rules and it was kind of interesting so so go check that out but because I got to be honest with you, Mike, I'm, I'm upset. I'm kind of, I'm not upset that I quit the trip. I'm more upset about the possibility that I'm physically or mentally unable to bike across America again. That bothers me more that it's possible I will never do it again and that I can't do it because I'm not mentally tough enough, you know, Physically, I think I'm okay. My left knee was bothering me a little bit. I think physically, I just got to go easy and just like way less miles every day. And um, but I think realistically, mentally, I just I got to have loads of cash. I've got to have a, a lot of money where I'm not even sweating, spending money. Anyway, I don't even want to talk about biking across. America. We're going to talk about biking across Ohio. It's cool though. I did a search for um, Dayton, Ohio to Wheeling, West Virginia. I think it was 205 miles. 205 miles. I mean, in in two and a half days, pretty much two days, but two and a half days, I, I biked 95 miles or 90, 99.5 miles, and I quit in California. So I could have just doubled that and I would have biked across Ohio, you know? No, thank you, Mike. <laughs> Seriously. I just, I know. <laughs> you think about Tom Brady. He won his three Super Bowl rings early on. Then in 07, he lost to the Giants. Then in 2011, he lost to the Giants again. You know, and after a while, you're starting to think, okay, we ever going to get back? Yeah, no, I just, yeah, I just need to do... Yeah, and I just need to have some fun. My neighbor, Terry, and his wife, Cheryl, they're good friends of mine. And their son lives along U.S. Highway 40, just a few minutes from Highway 40. So I'd like to meet their son. And I think he lives somewhere outside of Columbus, somewhere out there. So, yeah, we got to do some easier, funner trips. Just do, do some stupid stuff. Get it, get it like a Cincinnati Bengals cycling jersey. Bike with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. Yeah, just something like that. <laughs> I, I have I have my Cleveland Brown socks. So that's pretty the Cleveland. Stocks that my friend Adrian sent me. I keep mentioning it. So, 
really want to get my friend Brad in here. He's such an Ohio type guy. It's hard to explain, but long time. Um, I just want to invite him. Chili pepper socks. Thanks. Yeah, you do need chili pepper socks. Where are you going to get it? <laughs> if I see chili pepper socks, I'll, I'll pick up a, cop, a pair for you. I'm assuming you're probably, what's your shoe size? Are you an XL? What's your shoe size? Seriously, if I see them, it's not a lot of money to, to pick that up for you. And where's Brad here? Damn, where's Brad? Buddy Brad, he always nags me on Twitter if he doesn't like what I tweet. Occasionally, I'm when it comes to politics. Every once in a while, he'll 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 chime in. Come on, Brad. Brad. Brad, if you watch this video, I'm mad at you. Where are you on Twitter? Come follow me. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, no, because Mike. And some of these Colorado bike shops, they've got all these, you know, those unique cycling socks like tacos or, you know, cactus or just like weird. So I'll pick up a copy for you. A, a pair. Come on, Brad. All right, I'm just going to send him another mean. Brad. Exclamation point. Come into our live chat. Darn it. He's not going to come in. It's okay. So right now it's uh, almost 4 o'clock. And just being honest, I've got a, I've got a counseling client at 5. So at 5 o'clock, I've got to uh, definitely by probably 4.45. i got to head home. Do my counseling. So, my eyes are still with my allergies. They're still especially baggy. They don't look bad this way, but anyway, <laughs> my allergies have been bad. Some people in here now. Say the people. And the people there. So having fun. So what are we gonna do in here? Who's even in here? Let's see if I can find out who's in here. Participants. All Joe's is Mike. Mike's the only participant here. So, it's just two people. <sighs> you know, it's maybe a week in Ohio. Um, I need to spend a week in Tucson this summer. <laughs> It'll be a good thing, though. I'm seeing my friend Bill, who is going to be bike, uh, not biking. I'm, that's a Freudian slip. He's going to be mad at my league baseball team in Tucson, the Tucson Swaros. So for about a week, I want to get down there for a week at a cheap Airbnb and go to a bunch of games. You know, I don't know three, four, five games, go to the game. And the games are at night, so at least it's not insanely hot. And um, kind of work during the day. And uh, so I got to get down to Tucson in either June or July. And then actually the playoffs start in August, and assuming he makes the playoffs, and I think his team should be pretty good. 
I need to have some flexibility where I can get down there to attend the playoffs and the, the, hopefully the title game. But so that'll be interesting. See, see how that goes. So then, but then I got to work the Ohio thing. If I do the Ohio thing, so you know. This is good. It's empty now. Got a, it's a shamrock mocha. Dark chocolate and Irish cream. It's really good. A little, it, was, it was sweet. There's some sugar in there, but I, I gave myself a, it's okay to have a little bit. You know, I still haven't eaten much processed foods. In a good while now, three months. So, so this, this live stream is quiet. It's too quiet in here. Want to see some of the items here? Let's, let me take you for a little walk. Show you some of the things they got in here. Let's see what we got here. Get some pillows and <laughs> this is this is odd. Advice from a wolf. Howl with your friends. So <laughs> let's see what they got here. Here's a big plate with a rooster. It's a big plate with a rooster. <laughs> Not too shabby. I should do a not too shabby of that. So. <laughs> see what they got. Two things here. Are you shopping? Are they shopping? No, I'm just doing a little live stream. I'm showing my friends your coffee shop. So, yeah, that's... It, Hi. <laughs> Everyone say hi. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just talking to my friends. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. It's kind of boring. It looks weird, though. No, it doesn't look weird. Really? It's okay. it's fine. I was like, yeah, but I like your gifts and everything. Yeah. So. And we can ship fudge successfully. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. There yeah, you go. I failed it now to like five minutes. <laughs> there you go. I had a shamrock mocha and it was really good. Yeah, it was good. I usually get the Rudolph one. Yeah. I know. That one smells like a chocolate covered cherry. I know. So, all right. <laughs> Lots of friendly people in here. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, real, real nice ladies. She's the owner. She, she's the owner of this place. So. Anyway, got walking sticks. Some walking sticks. So, let's see what else we got here. There, the lighting's better this way. So there you go. Like here's the, here's the front door. So you walk in, all right? Watch the bell is gonna ring. You walk, and this is what you see. The coffee shop is straight back. All these nice little mugs, all these gifts. So, got more mugs this way, and suits over here. I like their thing. They're right across the the. They got the the. The artwork of the mountains, and they named some of the mountains right there. So that's really neat. So they do make fudge. She was talking about the fudge you made. So there's the fudge, candy cane. That looks pretty good. How are you guys doing? <laughs> so lots of friendly people here. <laughs> so I do live in town. 
Now we did, we live out uh, in Tower uh, City. We just drive up for the day. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I go to that barbecue place. Obies. Obies. I love Obies. That's a yeah. good. They changed the owners and they're still good, but they're not as good as they used to be, in my opinion. Really? Okay, okay. <laughs> but I still think, I mean, I there's the pulled pork is still. We don't get, we don't have any barbecue. We don't even have a Mexican restaurant in our town. So, anyway, but no, that's great. It's nice you came up and it's a pretty drive. So, yeah. Bluff. Oh, the little bluff. Yeah, the bluff. Nice. So, and it's actually what forty six. That's a warm day for us up here. So. You guys might get a little colder up here than we get down. Yeah. What's your elevation? Six thousand. A little over two right six six sixty one. Maybe. Yeah, so you might be a little warmer. Yeah. What is it? Seventy nine hundred right in town. So, we got to look at the sign when we came down. You got, yeah, but if you start going up the you know, it's like 85, yeah. 9,000 at the base. So, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, good chatting with you. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> Fudge and ice cream there. <laughs> Got Butterfinger flavored ice cream right there. Butterfinger. This one's malt ball fudge swirl right here. Malt ball fudge swirl. So that's a great. Got some treats here. See that. They call these dark sky pies. They look like ding dongs. She said you want. I wanted to call them ding dongs, but then you know you can't do that with uh, trademarks. But they got some, yeah, you know, I got some goodies. So I knew some of their some of their drinks. I got the shamrock mocha. So lots of fun, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. They got these. Um, oh, these. They, this is interesting. These are concealed here. Concealed carry bags. So these are, you know, women's purses where it's concealed carry. So very interesting. So for those of you who uh, carry, you can see it's a great thing, you know. So <laughs> I like this green one. This green one's pretty. So very lovely. It's concealed carry bags. You know, maybe I could do a not too shat. There's, too, there's a lot of people here. Yes, the higher the elevation, the colder, Mike, for sure. So, yeah. Anyway, it's just kind of interesting there. So, here, here's here's the best thing. Mountains are calling. It's fun to get people in the, you know, it's getting cold. It's cold in here. So, those people over there, they uh, they live in Colorado City. Hopefully you can hear them talking, but they just did a little day trip. We came up to Westcliff, you know. Usually I told them I go down there. There's a barbecue place I like. Colorado City, Colorado. So it's kind of by Rye. South of Pueblo. So, all right.
So what are we going to talk about? We, we're we going to finish early? I might finish early. I might finish early. I might go. I usually like going for about an hour minimum. Then after an hour, it's like, well, we'll just see. So I might have to get ready for my counseling work. And, uh, I could take a nap right now. Nice little nap. <laughs> Got my Wichita State jersey. Wichita State. Right there. So they won nine out of their last 11. And uh, the regular season's over. And um, they're 17 and 13, so they're not going to win the AAC tournament, but maybe they can get an NIT bid. So, so we'll, we'll see. But. Where's Josh? Wait, you just sent me. Hey, I got a video from Mike. Let's see here. We just woke up and noticed that a buffalo. Oh, you sent me this video. Into the campground. Oh, look at the buffalo. Oh, that's a great video. <laughs> Mike. Wow. 